Humankind in the 21st century is confronted with various global issues that cannot be solved by one country or region, including global warming, preservation of biological resources, infectious disease outbreaks, earthquakes, and tsunami. These issues have a particularly large effect on developing countries that have a weak economic base, requiring solutions coordinated with developed countries. The Science and Technology Research Partnership for Sustainable Development, known as SATREPS, promotes international joint research conducted by Japan and developing countries. New technologies are being developed in order to find solutions to global issues and build human capacities that benefit both Japan and developing countries. JST, that promotes science and technology, is coordinating work with JICA that is in charge of official development assistance known as ODA. The Republic of South Africa, which is located at the southernmost end of the African continent, is surrounded by the Indian Ocean on the eastern side and the Atlantic Ocean on the western side. It has a wide range of climatic environments, from subtropic to arid. Since its production system depends heavily on nature, South Africa is extremely vulnerable to climate variations. A three-year bilateral project of Japan and South Africa to clarify the mechanism of climate variations in South Africa and enhance the seasonal climate prediction system started in 2010. This project is entitled Prediction of Climate Variations and its Application in the Southern African Region. Professor Toshio Yamagata is the leader on the Japanese side. His group has been successful in predicting the occurrence of El Nino and La Nina. His group was the only one in the world to predict the severe drought of Australia in 2006, one year in advance. He wants to take advantage of this experience to predict climate variations in South Africa. The dipole mode that occurs in the Indian Ocean is the key to this project. When this phenomenon occurs in the subtropics, it is called the subtropical dipole mode. It is associated with strong upward motion and causes abnormal weather in South Africa. The subtropical dipole mode is associated with a dipole structure in sea surface temperature anomalies in the southern Indian Ocean. It is a large-scale phenomenon and causes both drought and floods in South Africa. We want to use models to predict this phenomenon in order to assist agriculture. Professor Yamagata has pointed out that the subtropical dipole mode is similar to climate phenomena such as El Nino and La Nina in the Pacific Ocean and causes abnormal weather. The climate in South Africa is relatively moderate, and this enables extensive cultivation of various agricultural crops, such as maize and wheat. When the subtropical dipole mode occurs, there is a higher chance of torrential rainfall during summer that causes floods. This destroys the natural balance and results in huge damage to crops. This is why there is a demand to enhance the climate prediction system for this dipole mode. A supercomputer at the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology called Earth Simulator is used for numerical simulation. A huge volume of atmospheric and ocean data is supplied to this Earth simulator to perform climate simulation for South Africa. Professor Yamagata tells us that a certain model has been installed for this purpose. 
This model is not a model in the normal sense of the word. Rather, it is an artificial Earth inside the computer that can reproduce the actual atmosphere and ocean of the Earth. When the data at a particular point in time is provided, this model enables us to see what will happen in the future. The Earth simulator can perform predictions on a global scale, but this time it is also used to perform regional scale simulation for two regions in South Africa. One is Limpopo Province, selected as a pilot for rural development. The second is Western Cape Province, known for its wine production. Detailed climate data for both regions was input into the Earth simulator to perform downscaling simulation of climate variation. Utilizing the world-famous simulation technology from Japan for sustainable development in South Africa is the objective of this project. The research team from Japan visited South Africa for the initiation of the project. From Japan, the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology and the University of Tokyo are involved. The local counterpart is the Applied Center for Climate and Earth Systems Science. Professor George Philander is the leader on the South African side. He is a leading scientist in El Nino research. Seasonal climate prediction is currently conducted in South Africa, but it's based on an atmospheric model that cannot take into account variations in the ocean. The objective of joint research with Japan is to improve the accuracy of predictions. It, it, it cleared some of the doubts and some of the other things that we really needed to know and understand about the scientific work that is being done in Japan and also some of the actual utilization of Oh, yes. Weather data yeah. climate models into the rural communal farmers. We are hoping the Japanese government science would help to as create an institution here uh, simply for building self confidence. Cell phones are used more frequently than personal computers in South Africa. Therefore, climate prediction information is disseminated to people involved in farming with short message service. This prediction information is also updated on the website of the Applied Center for Climate and Earth Systems Science. The dissemination of highly accurate climate prediction information will help farmers implement countermeasures, such as changing to crops that are more resistant to drought and heavy rain in advance. We use global models of the atmosphere and ocean to make climate predictions for the future. We want particularly young people in South Africa to learn this technology, utilize the technology, and improve these models by themselves. We would like to support a flow where they take the initiative. <laughs>